Hey, uh, Rapture remembered here. This is actually the second time I'm going to try to record this. My dog was going crazy during the first one. Uh, I'm about to go out right now, so I'm not actually going to talk for very long, as I'm sure you'll see by the time of the video. Now, I was just watching a bit of CNN and uh, massive protests on, uh, the, I guess, the first full day of Trump's presidency uh, all across the world. But I noticed something. Now, first of all, I feel really insulted about that as a, a white American that people in Mexico are, you know, I suppose they have the right to protest, but, I mean, we don't protest what goes on in Mexico, you know, so fuck off, pretty much. Um, and it's not just Mexico. It's like Australia. It's Paris. It's God knows where else. Um, but the U.S. cities, it's pretty massive, and... You know, it just hit me. We can't win the war of minds with the... I mean, I, I've been so beyond democracy lately that, you know, I'm not even going to go there uh, talking to you right now. Democracy is shit, and this is proof of it. I mean, basically, uh, what I was saying was uh, the tragedy is that idiots have the power to create life, and so they create their own set of demands, their own seething masses... Uh, which they can use in a democratic fashion as soon as those useless eaters turn 18, right? Um, so we're seeing these massive protests, and it just struck me. This is the main point of what I want to say here, because all this other stuff is pretty self-evident. Given that democracy will fail, um, that it will result in chaos, and assuming that some other viable option will spring up that people may have the option to uh, pursue for themselves. Anybody that's listening to this, get out of urban zones. Get out. What I mean by that is, we can't, we can't share, you know, all, all, of the, all of our territory with these, once again, useless eaters in the city, these hordes of people that just are completely destructive. We, we, there's no point in giving them a homestead or giving them a farm. I mean, no, we got to keep them contained in those zones. And uh, I know some people have kind of alluded to this before, but just to clearly articulate this, get out of big cities get some land in the countryside, not area that might be taken up by the city in 10 or 20 years. No, get out in the countryside and probably outside of a small town, a small town with a homogenous population. Get somewhere safe because the writing's on the walls. These are basically hordes of zombies, right, in the cities. And there's... We can only hope to contain them there, you know? We... <laughs> I mean, I'm close to being one of them myself, don't get me wrong, but I don't want to be one, and I don't want my family and my children to be like them, you know, so get out. The writing is on the wall. Uh, get out, and then in the future, maybe they'll be cordoned off, maybe they'll be trapped in the city, not allowed to leave. That would make perfect sense, because you can't govern these people. These people are ungovernable. I mean, they... They're all atomized, they all want whatever they think, and they do not think collectively at all, unless it's to destroy whatever built our various countries in the first place. And now, I think this process is happening somewhat naturally in London, given its uh, foreign population and uh, in the city, in the city of London. So people are leaving, the real English are leaving this is probably what needs to happen in white America, too, because these people are... It's a fucking zoo in every city these days. Get out, uh, get your place in the countryside, and then maybe in the future, when we still have guns and still have some kind of electoral power, possibly uh, due to delegates, although I don't like that system, we can just vote in people that will want to contain these people in these urban zoos, right? And they will just have to suffer with what they've sown over the years. Um, so I'd say the writing's on the wall. Get out. 
Catch you guys later.